All right, so now that we've got our CSS separated into a separate external file, we're going to start to push our HTML forward a little bit. And so what I have on screen now is our Pink Floyd HTML as it exists now. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the finished version of the site again. And in this version, in addition to the Pink Floyd, what you'll see that we have is we have this navigational menu at the top of the page that's followed by a large Wickedly Smart title. And that's followed by a breadcrumb. And then, of course, we have two other artists in this list as well. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting this navigational menu in, on getting the Wickedly Smart music title in, and getting the breadcrumb in. So to do that, let's pull up our HTML, pinkfloyd.html. And I'm going to paste in some new HTML. And so let's go through this HTML. The first thing that we have is this div, which has an ID of header. And that div contains in it two things. It contains an unordered list, which has each item that's in the navigation menu, as you can see here. And it also has the wickedly smart large title, which has been placed within an H1 element. There's a second div that I've added, which has an ID of breadcrumb. And that contains three links with greater than signs between them that act as the breadcrumb. All right, so let's save this. Let's go back and let's reload our Pink Floyd file. And as you can see, we've got that stuff in there, but now we need to add a little styling to make it look like the original. So let's do that in the next video.